Have you ever wondered or asked yourself the question, will I go to heaven when I die? That's a very important question to know the answer to. And today, I'm going to answer that question for you. You're not watching this by, this video by mistake. Whether you got here through one of my other videos or whether you just stumbled across it on YouTube, that question can be answered 100% from the Word of God. And today, I'm going to do that for you. So make sure you watch this entire video. It's not going to be a long video, but it could be one of the most important videos that you ever watch in your life because it will it will answer the question, when I die, will I make it to heaven? My name is Pastor Stephen Braswell, and I'm, I want to answer that question for you today through the Word of God. Many people have many opinions and thoughts about this, but I want to go to the Word of God and see what the Word says about it. There was a religious leader in Jesus' day that came to him. His name was Nicodemus. And he was questioning Jesus about how to go to heaven, and, and he was wanting to learn more about what Jesus was teaching. And Jesus made this comment. He said, unless, he says, unless, is in John chapter 3, he said, most assuredly, I say to you, this is verse 3, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said this in verse 4. He said, how can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? And Jesus goes on and describes to him that what Jesus, what he was talking about was spiritual, not natural. As a matter of fact, Jesus told Nicodemus this. He said, he said if I have told you earthly things and you don't understand, he said, then how will you ever understand spiritual things? So all the way, we have to understand what Nicodemus, the problem Nicodemus was having was that he was seeing things from a natural standpoint, from an earthly standpoint. When Jesus was talking about being born again, he was talking about what happens on the inside of a man, about your spirit. We are a three-part being. First and foremost, we are a spirit. All the way back into Genesis, from the very beginning of the Bible, the, God said this. He said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. And the Bible tells us very plainly that God is a spirit. So he made us, first and foremost, spirit beings. And because of that, we anything we receive from God is going to come through the spirit, through spiritual things. Yes, it'll manifest in the natural and it'll manifest in the earthly things and natural things. But we receive everything from God through the Spirit. So when Jesus said you must be born again, he was talking about your spirit man be born again. And how do we do that? Well, the scripture answers that question very plainly. John chapter 3, we, we just saw the first part of that. But if you flip over and look at verse 16, very familiar passage that you may, that you may even know. John 3.16 says this, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So God said that if you believe on his son and in his son, and you believe that what Jesus did when he came to the earth, he came, he, he came through the Virgin Mary. He, he did not have a earthly father. He had a heavenly father that, that came and, and, and he was born through the Virgin Mary. And so therefore, he did not have the sin nature that all of us have based on what Adam and Eve did in the Garden of Eden. So when Jesus came, he came and he lived his life. He lived his life sinless. He lived his life without making one mistake. And he went to the, when he went to the cross and he, he offered his life there on the cross when he was crucified, he did that and he became, he became the sin offering for us. He became our substitute. He took our place on the cross. The sins that you and I commit, Jesus paid for on the cross. He went to hell, and the Bible says that after he was crucified, he died. He went to hell, but after three days, God raised him from the dead, and he became the firstborn of many uh, to be born again, and he is in heaven alive and well today. And, and we know in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, the scripture says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So we know that we've missed the mark. We know that we haven't done everything right, that we, we're not perfect. So, but, but then if you turn to Romans 10, verse 9 and 10, he says this, Romans 10, verse 9, the, the scripture says this, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus 
and you believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So again, we see it's about believing in your heart. John 3, 16, if you believe on him, you'll have everlasting life. Romans 10, that if you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth, you will be saved. And then verse 10 says this, for with the heart, one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. So the way this works, the way, the way God designed this is that when you, when you believe in your heart, when you truly believe that yes, Jesus came, he lived his life, he lived his life sinless, he took my place on the cross. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians, uh, 2 Corinthians, the Bible says that he became sin so that I could become righteous. And when, and where did he do that? He did that on the cross. God made him to be sin on the cross. He paid the price for sin. Jesus paid the price for sin on the cross. And, and then he in turn made us righteous. When you believe in God, when you believe in Jesus, that Jesus came and he lived and he died, then the Bible says, then, and you believe in him and you confess with your mouth, then you will be saved. And then what happens 2 Corinthians 5, 17, the scripture says this, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Now, where do all things become new? It's on the inside. When you pray, when you, when you close your eyes and pray and you believe and you ask, you make that confession of faith, you open your eyes back up, you go to a mirror and guess what? You look the same way you did before. But if you could see yourself on the inside, you would see that you became a brand new creation. Something changed on the inside. Your, your spirit man was recreated, reborn. Praise God. And that's what Jesus said. When you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, you will be born again. And the born again ones, the ones that believe in Jesus are the ones that make it to heaven. Praise God. So today, if you're ready to do that, if you say, Pastor, I believe in my heart that Jesus came, he lived, he died, and he rose again. I believe that. Then, then uh, right now, we are going to make a confession. We're going to believe God together. And you, my friend, are going to be born again. You can know 100% that you're on your way to heaven. So it just goes like this. A lot of people will pray. A lot of people say, say this prayer, repeat these words after me. But you know, there's, and, and they almost make it like the, the prayer itself is what saves you. But if you don't have, if you don't believe it in your heart, you can pray a prayer all day long and it not make a bit of difference. The Bible, I showed you three different places, I think, where it says that when you believe in your heart, something changes. So if you believe that in your heart today, if you believe that Jesus came and Jesus died and rose again, and you believe that, and you believe he did that for you, then, then all you have to do, the Bible says, you believe that in your heart, you confess it with your mouth. So we just make that confession of faith to Jesus. You can do that in a prayer. You can do that just, just in a bold statement, just saying, Jesus, I believe you came, you died, you rose again, and I believe that you are now my Savior. I'm asking you to save me. I'm asking you to forgive me my sin and, and to come into my life and to be my Lord and my Savior. And if, and if you believe that in your heart, the Bible says, when you make that confession, you will be born again. Praise God. So let's make that confession together. I'll just say it. You repeat it after me. And then, and then we'll just rejoice together. Say, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for sending Jesus to come to live on the earth. Thank you that he lived his life sinless and he died on the cross for me. He took my place and I believe he died. I believe he went to hell. I believe he rose again on the third day. And the Bible says he took death, hell, and the grave. And he, he took it captive, praise God. And he came out victorious. And I make that confession today that he is my Savior and my Lord. Amen. Praise God. Well, if you, if you made that confession, if you believe that, you made that confession of faith, then you, my friend, are on your way to heaven. Hallelujah. And I want to get you to do a couple things for me as we finish up this, this video today. I want to, first and foremost, I want, I want you to put in the comments below, just simply write in the comments. I, I made that confession of faith. I am now a Christian. I am on my way to heaven. Just whatever you want to say in there, just make that, put that in the comments 
and let me know that you said that. I can rejoice with you and we'll celebrate together. Amen. The next thing you need to do is find you a good Bible-believing church, a good spirit-filled church. And it does matter where you go. Don't go to just any church. Know what they believe. Find a church that believes the Bible, that believes being spirit-filled, believes in the gifts of the Spirit, because, because the power of the Holy Ghost is very important in your life. Get spirit-filled. Find a church where you can pray, where they'll pray with you and receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. That's an incredible, uh, incredible gift that God has given us that you can have power. Jesus said you'll be endued with power from on high. Praise God. And then I want to ask you to do, uh, do something else for me. If you would, Hit the subscribe button on this video. Share this video. Share it with other friends. Share it on all the different platforms you have. And uh, help me get the word out. Just that Jesus is Jesus loves you and that he came and he came to set you free today. So if you like this video and you want to if you want to find out more about the information we talked about, subscribe, hit the like button, come back to my page and we'll be sharing a lot more about this. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching today. Thank you for for making that confession of faith and we're going to we're going to go forward and we're going to see God make an incredible difference in each one of our lives as we learn more about him. Have a blessed day.